Sussex by 16-year-old Oliver Wilkes. Look at those Fox teeth. Yawning. Look at those teeth. Yeah. They're sharp, aren't they? <laughs> those are the main stories. It's uh, 13 minutes past eight. Now, for some teenagers, a gap year trip between school and university is a rite of passage. But for three friends from London, a trip to Thailand earlier this year turned to tragedy. Max Boomgarden Cook and two of his friends were killed in a horrific accident when a bus crashed into the back of their coach. For the boys' families, it left many unanswered questions. They're now sending investigators to Thailand to try to find out a bit more about what happened. Philip Banks joins us this morning. He's a lawyer who's assisting Max's family and his mother, Polly Cook joins us as well. Welcome to you both. Thanks very much for coming in. And Polly, I know this is very difficult for you, for you to talk about. Mm -hmm. First, can you just describe what, what Max was planning before he went out? What, did, what was he telling you about what was going to happen? Well, for, for myself as his mother, I thought it was a kind of, not just a holiday, mm -hmm. it was a rite of passage, part of him growing up. And um, I thought he'd learn a lot and perhaps come back and maybe even appreciate his life in England more, you know, having seen that people's lives can be very difficult. Um, he was very excited about it. He was also, um, he was very into history and especially his, um, history that wasn't European history. He knew a lot about Cambodia, Southeast Asian history and um, was very excited about finding out more. And they were on a particularly dangerous highway though when the accident happened, weren't they? They were, but as his mother, I was not aware that that was a dangerous road. I had looked at the foreign advice. I was assiduous, meticulous. Mm. Um, I'd read everything, um, sent him out with a huge um, uh, medical pack. He'd had all his um, malaria, everything, all his jabs, as had his friends had. And he was joking and laughing, saying, oh, I've got the biggest medical pack. Mm. Um, I also spent um, a day uh, researching the insurance uh, for him. I'd looked online and found a bewildering array of um, all different kinds of insurances. So I then rang my bank and I went through everything right. personally. I knew that so we you took all the precautions that as a mother you, I, you could have. I, I, you know, absolutely. Hmm. I, I could, couldn't, I honestly can say hmm. to you, I couldn't have done more. And I was at nowhere made aware that uh, the roads are you know, travelling in Thailand is very, very dangerous. Mm. Um, and I, I have to say, I, I'm, I'm very angry that I was not made aware because I would have said to all the boys, you know, don't travel on yeah. the roads, especially at night, uh, take a train, yes. you know? Yeah. Philip, you're working on behalf of the families. What are you hoping to achieve? Well, um, basically, um, no one should have to go through the sort of tragedy that Polly and, and her family and, and the other families have gone through. and. The first thing that we're trying to do is try and find out what actually happened because at the moment no one really knows what happened and that, and that will hopefully help to some extent. And then secondly we want to try and uh, launch an investigation and, and to, to, to see if we can stop this uh, tragedy happening to, to, to other people as well. So, but it's just to help uh, Holly and Polly work with her and uh, highlight the dangers of, of road travel in Thailand. Police statistics say apparently that almost 13,000 people were killed on the Thai roads in 2005, last year we've got figures for here, uh, and you know, the UK equivalent for a similar population would be just over 2,000, but maybe that doesn't tell the full picture. I, I believe that, uh, unfortunately, I believe the figure is much higher and we're going to be looking into that. Um, uh, I, I, I think that um, the figures only include people who die instantly. Um, and those so that die on the road on the way to hospital are um, not included in the, mm. in the statistics. Philip, are you looking for some sort of civil redress, criminal proceedings? What, what are you doing as a lawyer? Both, really. We've, we've instructed uh, lawyers in Thailand to uh, find out what's happening and if, if there are criminal proceedings, we can join in, hopefully we can join in those criminal proceedings and, and help influence those. But also, we will be launching a separate uh, civil claim too, uh, with the assistance of, of the lawyers in Thailand. Mm. And this road between, it's the Bangkok Chiang Mai Highway, it's apparently a, a notorious for speeding and bus drivers who are sometimes taking pills to keep themselves awake and that sort of thing. Yeah, no, we, we, there's no regulation, I think, mm. at all. There's no health and safety checks. And I presume that. Um, you know, the, the drivers are probably quite poor, so they're working double, triple ships, shifts. You know, there's no regulation on that as we have in this country. Mm. Well, I hope you get some answers. 
Polly, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us today. Philip, too. Thank you both. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Time now, 18 minutes past eight. Let's uh, get a look at the weather. Carol is out and about for us. She's at Cricklade in Wiltshire. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Bill. You're quite right. Cricklade has just literally won the RHS Britain in Bloom 2011 Champion of Championships competition. And we're in the heart of the garden where all the preparation... their belongings stolen they developed their own software that together with CCTV means the perpetrators are more likely to be caught of Merseyside has been meeting police officers across London to explain his strategy for total policing. He says he will focus on cutting crime and costs. The 53-year-old was appointed two weeks ago. The family of Max Boomgarden Cook, one of three gap year students from London killed in a coach crash in Thailand, has hired private investigators to look into how they died. Max's mother says they're considering legal action and that three months on, there are still many unanswered questions. Alex Bandukra Alice Bandukravi reports. He was the life and soul. He was always into something. He, he was a real people person. Ever since he was a baby, he had his arms around his friends. 19-year-old Max Boomgarden Cook and his friends had been saving up for months for this trip of a lifetime, a nine-week journey through Southeast Asia. But after just four days in Thailand, the bus they were travelling on crashed en route to the northern city of Chiang Mai. They left on the Thursday evening. On the uh, very early Tuesday morning, just before work, there was a knock on the door and it was um, the police and, four, and I realised immediately, you know, that something must have happened to Max. Five people were killed that night and dozens injured. But three months on and Max's family still know very little of the exact circumstances of the crash and are hoping their own investigators will get to the bottom of what happened. I think it's really, really important to have as much information as possible. If you're not given information, it, it leaves um, scope for your imagination to run into places that it, sh it should never go. Not only does Polly Cook want more travel guides to make clear the danger of travelling by road in Thailand, she's also hoping their private investigation will prompt the Thai government to improve road safety. It's not just about you know, our backpackers, um, it's about the fact that Thai people have to put up with this on a daily basis as well. And they deserve to have, you know, a better system. Alice Bandukravi, BBC London News. Next, the latest way to catch... Enthusiastic rocking from Stephen Ferris, and he was right within his rights to do that, because it sounds like Bikini was stopping the ball coming back. And Ireland have the penalty early on. Great start from Ireland in the second half, building the phases, running the hard yard.